to enable.org presents Mathematical Literacy Tariff Systems Bank Fees Be aware of all costs when you have a bank account. The bank charges fees but it's still good to keep your money in an account. It's much safer to have a bank account than for instance keeping your money under your mattress. Banks are not allo allowed to have any charge to have charge any hidden cost on your bank account. So they can't just uh, charge you an amount without you being aware of it. It is however your responsibility to be aware of all costs. So you have to study bank banking fees so that you know what you can expect at the end of the month. Some of the costs are more difficult to understand. Right, so this is Bank A's breakdown. Here is a monthly administrative fee, 4 Rand 50. So this is the amount that you're going to pay regardless of um, what transactions you do. Um, this is the amount that you pay um, when you make a cash deposit at the branch counter. So you go to a bank, a branch of your bank, and you make a deposit. So you'll pay six Rand twenty. And then you'll pay one Rand thirty five for every hundred Rand that you deposit. So if you for instance deposit five hundred Rand, so let's quickly write that down. So if I for instance deposit five hundred Rand, I will pay six Rand twenty And then for every 100 Rand, so it's 100 Rand, uh, 500 Rand divided by 100. Divided by 100. And that I will multiply with 1 Rand 35. <coughs> 35. Right, so the six round twenty will remain six twenty, and added to that, five hundred divided by hundred is five rand, so it's plus five rand, and that I will multiply with one rand thirty five. Okay. So six round twenty is again the same amount. The six round twenty at the top is really very ugly, <laughs> and then added to that is five times one thirty five, and that is six rand seventy five. So if you were to deposit five hundred rand at a branch, you will pay six rand twenty plus 675 and that is 1295 oh good grief that's not very well done so let's write equals in rand 12 rand 95 cents Okay, now if you were to deposit that 500 Rand at your bank's ATM, let's see how much that will cost. That will be 3 Rand. Okay, I'm not going to put the notes there, right? Um, but now we're going to deposit the same 500 Rand. So it's again going to be 5 times 125. 1 rand 25. Okay, 5 times 125. So it is the 3 rand, which is the base cost, plus 5 times 125, and that is 6 rand 25. Now that's not too difficult to add. 3 plus 6 rand 25 cents is 9 rand 25 cents. So do you see it is much cheaper to, for instance, make a deposit at the ATM and not go into the uh, into the bank. The reason for that is 
for the bank to pay the people working at the counter is much more expensive than it is for them to upkeep the ATMs. Okay, cash withdrawal from the bank counter is 33 rand. That's a lot. Plus 1 rand 40 for every 100 rand that you withdraw. But if you withdraw it from an ATM, it's only 4 rand 20 cents. But it's even cheaper if you withdraw it from a point of sale. So from a store, I think you can withdraw money from pep stores and checkers and pick and pay and, shop, and ShopRite and um, well, that is, I think maybe some sparse shops as well. Uh, then you only pay one rand for the transaction. So I think this is probably the best deal if you want to withdraw money. Immediate internet payment via the internet. If I make a payment via the internet, I will pay 11 Rand plus 1 Rand 5 cents for every 100 Rand to the maximum of 65 Rand. Now that is an immediate payment. So the money clears immediately. It doesn't take a couple of, of days. Right, sorry, the previous show again. Um, uh, the, here it says there are many more charges but we will only be working with these okay so there are a couple more charges that the bank will charge you an example calculate how much a cash deposit will cost to the amount of 2650 rand at the branch counter calculate how much a cash deposit will cost at the amount of 3018 rand at bank A's ATM and calculate how much it will cost to withdraw 800 Rand from A, the branch counter, B, the bank ATM, and C, a point of sale. <coughs> and then for calculate how much it will cost if I make an immediate internet payment of 5,100 Rand and 5,500 Rand. Right. So this is the first question. Calculate how much a cash deposit will cost to the amount of 2,650 Rand at the branch counter. Okay, so this is the cash deposit. It's 6 Rand 20 plus 1 Rand 35 for every 100 Rand. So I will take this 6 Rand 20 and I will add 2,650 Rand divided by 100 times 135. So that is 6 Rand 20 plus 26 and a half times 1 Rand 35. And that gives me 41 Rand and 975 cents, which is rounded to 41 Rand 98 cents. Second question calculate how much a cash deposit will cost to the amount of 3,118 Rand at the bank's ATM. Right, so that is the breakdown of the cost. 3 Rand plus 1 Rand 25 for every 100 Rand that you spend, a uh, uh, deposit. So I'll take the amount, the 3,118, and I divide it by 100. <coughs> it gives me 31 Rand 18 cents, and I will pay 1 Rand 25 for that. So that is 41 Rand 975 cents which is 41 Rand 98 cents. <coughs> Calculate how much it will cost to withdraw. Oh, sorry, I quickly just want to go to the previous one. Um, if I deposit 3,118 Rand at Bank A's ATM, it costs 41 Rand 98. But I can, for the same amount, I can only deposit 2650 at the branch counter. <coughs> so 3118 minus 2650. I can, um, no, 3118 minus 2650. I can um, deposit 468 Rand more if for the same amount for that same 41 rand 98 if I use the bank's ATM. Um, how much will it cost to withdraw 800 rand from the bank counter, bank's ATM and the point of sale? Okay, so from the branch counter it's 33 rand plus 1 rand 40 divided by 100. Here's the calculation, 800 divided by 100 is 8. If I multiply it with 1 Rand 40, I'll pay 44 Rand 30. Ah, uh, 44 Rand 20. 
Cash withdrawal from the bank's ATM is 4 Rand 20, so it's 40 Rand less. And it's only 1 Rand from the point of sale. So definitely not going to withdraw 800 Rand from the bank counter. Calculate how much will it cost to make an immediate internet payment of 5,100 Rand. Okay, so this says immediate internet payment, a payment via the internet, interbank payment via the internet. 11 Rand plus 1 Rand 5 cents divide by, uh, for every 100 Rand. So it's a 5,100 divided by 100 gives me 51. And I times it with 1 Rand 5 cents and I pay 64 Rand 55 cents. <coughs> but if I make a payment of 5,500 Rand, it's 55 times 1 Rand 5 cents. And that is 68 Rand 75. But it says maximum 65 Rand. So therefore, you are only going to pay 65 Rand if you uh, make an immediate uh, interbank trans uh, um, payment via the internet of 5,500 Rand. So as soon as you make a uh, uh, interbank payments of more of about 5,400 rand, let's say more or less, um, you will only pay 65 rand. And thank you very much.